Reggie'd never seen the Crimson Fort so full of rat folk. The whole kingdom was there. Some even cheered for him. If he was scared, he wasn't showing it. He was going to show all of them what he was made of. If nothing else, this would be no easy win for Dennis. done it. He proved himself a worthy heir to his father's kingdom. His dream was about to come. Apart. The prince woke this time from a dream of blood and frog spawn, finding he had neither a crown, nor a kingdom, nor a father. a place to recover, somewhere to make a plan.
Not content with killing the king, the Frog Horde had torn down his throne room, leaving behind little more than smoldering rubble and the bodies of his king, dead and defiled. He had never seen such evil, or felt such rage. Reggie had his crown at last, but not his kingdom. Dennis had returned, but shamefaced. Drunk from drowning his sorrows in the village, he couldn't hold back the frogs there or stop them taking their brother, the chef. Reggie had to get to Longtail Village to rescue his brother, and fast. If he could fix the travel board, it'd show the quickest way. More than one use for a hammer. And its work on the frog skull seemed to be done. Longtail Village always smelled of fresh, whole bug bread before. Now it reeked of burning fur and gore. And something putrid. Pond slime. <laughs> 